Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I am David Ernstein, and I'm here with Jeff Turetsky, who, among many other talents, happens to be a shofar blower. And that's what we're talking about today. The shofar is blown on Rosh Hashanah, which is um, this time of year, the Jewish New Year. Thank you, Jeff. And um, first question is, why do we blow the shofar on Rosh Hashanah in the first place? So the shofar is now become the symbol of Rosh Hashanah itself. In fact, it's the only commandment that goes along with this holiday that people have to hear the blowing of the shofar uh, in order to fulfill their, uh, their commitment, their requirement for the holiday of the Jewish New Year. It's the only requirement. Okay, and how old is this tradition? So the tradition of hearing the shofar on Rosh Hashanah, I can't really speak to. In my research, what I found was that the shofar itself is one musical instrument that hasn't changed in over 5,000 years. And it's been used in biblical times to announce important events like a war coming or peace coming better, or um, a royal event, the, the coronation. Um, it's apocryphal that the shofar was blown during the giving of the Ten Commandments uh, to Moses. Um, and in modern day Israel, it's often leading a parade of people celebrating a bar mitzvah on a Monday or a Thursday. Uh, you have the shofar out in front of the entire family um, sort of announcing their, their arrival. Wow. Uh, I forgot to ask also, could you hold up your shofar for a minute so we can all see what we're talking about here? Okay. There's and uh, this is, what'd you say? There it is. Yeah, and this is made from a ram's horn, and we will well, hear you blow it. it. This one is from a gazelle. So oh, a gazelle, okay. Shorter and smaller, but this one's from a gazelle. Okay, and we will hear you blow it in just a couple of minutes. Um, I also wanted to ask, um, what, uh, how, how is this similar or different from other instruments? I, I understand your main instrument is the clarinet. Um, how does it compare to the clarinet or to... Uh, any brass instrument that we're all familiar with? So this is a really interesting um, instrument because the resonating component of this instrument is the human vocal cords. You're, as the blower, directly connected to the instrument, where when you play the clarinet, you're actually using a reed to vibrate, and that reed is what's really causing the initial sound to be made. In a brass instrument, you're buzzing through a mouthpiece, which has a very, very specific opening that, that causes the beginning of a sound that is then resonated through the instrument. But the shofar, that's a direct personal connection to the person blowing it through their own vocal cords. Um, and now could you tell us about the three different calls um, that we do on Rosh Hashanah with the, with the shofar? So the calls are really different, um, have different symbolic meaning. Uh, the first call um, is called tekiah, and the tekiah is a long single blast. And this is the one that sort of heralds the, the appearance of royalty. Um, it was really something that, um, uh, you know, here comes uh, the king. Um, again, excuse the metaphor, um, but that was, that was how it was originally set up. Um, the second blast, or shavarim, shavarim is uh, three uh, notes um, equal in length uh, to one tekiah. And this is meant to sound like a sobbing cry, a yearning. Um, uh, the holiday is all about, in a sense, um, being granted another year of life. And in that, the shivarim is um, sounded to sort of help you connect and grow and um, in a certain way to atone. And the teruah sound, this is the same length, but now broken into nine, sometimes 10 parts. And this is supposed to be an alarm clock. This is the arousing um, of the person from their spiritual slumber. This is saying, okay, the new year is here. And this alarm clock is supposed to help you in your spiritual journey to achieve clarity, to be alert, and then to focus. Great. Okay. Um, thank you for explaining that. And, and uh, let's now go to the, the demonstration. Takiya. Shvarim Tekiah 
Takia Trua Takia Takia Gadola Excellent. Thank you, Jeff. It's really yeah. a pleasure to share uh, this uh, with the Washington Revels and those of you who are watching. Hopefully someday you'll be able to hear this ritual play out in person rather than uh, through a Zoom connection. So thank you, uh, David, uh, for inviting me to participate. Thank you, Jeff, and uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Shana Tova. <laughs>